All right, so today is Bernoulli's equation. Bernoulli's equation looks like this. y prime plus p at x, y equals q at x times y to the power of n. The way we solve this is we start with a transformation. We have y equals, big Y equals little y to the power of one minus n. y prime equals one minus n times y to the negative n times y prime, just using a little bit of chain rule there. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this equation here and we're going to sub this y with this y. So you get this. So you just rearrange this little equation a little bit and sub it into this one. So you get that. Uh, y, big Y prime equals 1 minus n times y to the negative n all times q at x times y to the n minus p at x times y. Next, when you do that, you have a function of x and y, little x and y. You're going to use this transformation from up here. Big Y equals little y to the power of 1 minus n, and that'll give you a function of little x and big Y. And then you can rearrange that, and you've now got a standard first order equation. And you can solve it just like you would any other first order equation. Like I said, it's been reduced. Uh, solve as before. Again, don't forget to back sub uh, Y equals Y to the 1 minus n. Let's take a look at an example. So here's our example. Y prime equals y over 2x. Sorry, y prime plus y over 2x equals x over y cubed. And here we've just got our transformations here. So big Y equals y to the 1 minus n. Here n is negative 3. So 1 minus negative 3, that's 4. And here we have 1 minus n is 4 times y to the negative n n is negative 3 again, so it's positive 3 there, times y prime. So now, we take this y, we rearrange this, and substitute it in, so we get 4y cubed times xy to the negative 3 minus yx to the negative 1 over 2. Next up, uh, I've just carried through that uh, 4y cubed, just multiplied it in, and now we do our substitution here big Y equals Y to the 4. So we have a Y to the 4 here. So that's all I've done is I put that in there, moved it over here. Here's our uh, standard differential equation. So now we're going to solve this. Uh, we have integral of P at X DX. That's pretty simple. Natural log X squared. Negative integral. Natural log 1 over X squared. And this is the solution for this style of formula. Um, it, if you don't remember, uh, I did make a video on this one. I'll put a link to it down below. So we just, we've just we already computed our integrals. We just plug it in. Now we have one more integral to compute here. Uh, you give, of course, e to natural log x squared. That's just x squared. That's 4x cubed. Same thing here. e to the natural log of x to the negative 2. x to the negative 2. Same deal there. And now... You just carry out that integral. Uh, this is x to the 4 over 4 times 4, so that's just x to the 4 times x to the negative 2 x squared. And now the last step here, remember we have to back sub because we had this thing here, y equals little y to the 4. So y to the 4 equals cx negative 2 plus x squared. And I've just gotten that uh, exponent over, so we have y equals y to, sorry, y equals fourth root of cx to the negative 2 plus x squared. That is all.